In just this one fire season, Colorado has now endured three of the largest fires in our state's history. So what has made this year so dangerous? Well, our Jeff Todd got the answers. Joins us tonight from Lakewood. Jeff? Jim, this is also the headquarters of the Rocky Mountain Area Coordination Center. They monitor all the fires in Colorado and the surrounding states, and they keep data on all of that, which shows over the past 20 years, more acres are burning in the state. But this year, conditions were perfect for fires to explode in size. We've been anticipating something like this and nobody really knew exactly how it was going to shake out. The locations of Colorado's massive fires have been different, but the conditions this year are the same. It's what officials have feared for decades. It's been a very steady stream of hot, dry and windy weather this summer. Uh, the fuels have just not been tolerant to that. Worsening drought and pine beetle killed forests have laid the foundation. The fuels are ready. Uh, they just needed an ignition and then they uh, needed something to drive them through the landscape. The moisture dating back to the spring has been far too sparse. They just haven't been regular enough. Those intervals have been too long and those fuels have been able to, to dry out too far. Add in gusty winds ahead of large weather patterns and the fires have been driven to historic sizes. The fire spots ahead of itself. There's a receptive fuel bed out there that catches an ember or many embers and ignites itself and propagates the fire. 2020 will certainly be studied for years to try and help fire crews in the future and have models that have been run against, you know, the fires that we've had so that we have a better understanding about how fire propagates through the landscape. Over the past five years, the data in Colorado shows that wildfires are burning later into the year. This is the most destructive October on record. What fire officials tell us they're going to be looking for in 2021 is significant snowfall in the spring, March, April and May, and then a rainy monsoon. Reporting live tonight, Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Jeff, thank you.